Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Biodiversity and Conservation. I am Subhalakshmi Rao from Amrita Prashad Research Foundation, India. And we are continuing our Unit 8 Environmental Assessment Management and Legislation part for UG's net exam. And this is for the subject Environmental Science. So let's start. So we were continuing the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and today we are going to study about a new chapter 4B which consists of uh, National Tiger Conservation Authority. So what is the requirement of uh, the National Tiger Conservation Authority we will know here like what are the definitions of some terms that are often used in this chapter? We are going to know about those definitions. So in 38K section of this chapter, it talks about the definitions of some important terms that are used in this chapter. And the National Tiger Conservation Authority means the authority that holds the power to uh, select any committee or in create a foundation or uh, declare any area as tiger reserve or uh, they have the control to save the population of tiger so that main authority is called national tiger conservation authority next is uh, steering community committee so this term means the committee that uh, have the power to regulate the works in the tiger reserve. They have the authority to release uh, uh, the tiger which are under captive or they have the right to um, take any area into the um, tiger reserve because we have to protect that area then that uh, all those functions comes under the steering committee next term is tiger conservation foundation so it means that a foundation was created just to conserve the tiger population and uh, that foundation has some members who have uh, some works to perform to save the tiger population and next term is tiger reserve state which means a state having tiger reserve and tiger reserve means any area that uh, is notified as a tiger reserve by the authority and declared by the government so that area is called tiger reserve and this is mainly done to protect the tiger population in that area in the 38th section of this chapter we are going to discuss about the constitution of national tiger conservation authority and uh, here the central government is the main body who uh, makes the tiger uh, conservation authority national tiger conservation authority and gives them power to perform some functions according to the act that is the wildlife protection act and uh, mainly to safeguard the population of tiger in any area which is declared as tiger reserve and the committee has uh, sorry the authority have some members and uh, those members uh, are chairperson who is the minister in charge of ministry of environment and forest vice chairperson is uh, the minister of state in the ministry of environment and forest and three members are selected from the parliament uh, of which uh, two shall be selected by the house of people and one by the Council of States. Eight experts are uh, hired uh, according to their qualifications and experience in conservation of wildlife. And uh, 
in them at least two shall be from the field of tribal development because they have to take into account the welfare of the people living inside the tiger reserve and uh, secretary ministry of environment and forest is also a member of this authority mm -hmm. director general of forest and special secretary ministry of environment and forest is also another member director wildlife preservation ministry of environment forest is also a member and six chief wildlife wardens from the tiger reserve states uh, in the rotation for three years are chosen for being members in this authority and uh, an officer of the rank joint secretary and legislative council from the ministry of law and justice is also a member of this authority Secretary of uh, Ministry of Tribal Affairs is also a member. Secretary of Ministry of Social Justice and Envi Envi Empowerment is also another uh, member. Chairperson National Commission of the Scheduled Tribes, Chairperson National Commission for the Scheduled Caste, Secretary Ministry of Panchayat Raj, Inspector General of Forests, they all are the members of this uh, authority and uh, and uh, the office of the member of the tiger conservation authority cannot disqualify the any member who are chosen directly uh, by the government or from the parliament so they have such power to exercise to save and to conserve the tiger population so in the next section 38m term of office and conditions of the service of members discusses about the uh, amount of or the period of time they serve in the authority or in the office so if a member is nominated uh, uh, by the central government or any authority they uh, have to be present or they can hold the office for a period of three years not more than that and uh, the central government can remove any member from their position based on some offenses or if they have caused any offenses like um, if the mem if any member or any personnel ha have been creating problem or um, or making offenses against the wildlife so they will be removed and uh, if they have uh, unsound mind or uh, they cannot be declared as competent according to the court then also they will be removed if they refuse to act or or is incapable of acting um, according to the law of the or the act then they can be removed also and if they are uh, uh, taking leave without the leave of absence application um, that is uh, uh, given to the tiger conservation authority and if the authority have not uh, given the leave and then also they are taking the leave then they are um, in the risk of getting removed from the office and there are some issues uh, if they are going against the public uh, um, interest and uh, they are not taking care of the people then also they will be removed from the office now if any vacancy is there in the office it shall be filled by fresh appointment and uh, the member who is appointed will continue for the term of the member in whose place he has been appointed. So if a member is for uh, two years and he, has, he or she have left then another person will take the, that place but will be in power for one, hour, one year only. And the salaries and other allowances are given to the members as they, it is prescribed in the their 
uh, appointment and uh, no act or proceeding of the tiger conservation authority will be questioned or uh, will be invalid on the ground of merely exist existence of any vacancy or defect in the constitution of tiger conservation authority now in 38 n it talks about the officers and employees of uh, tiger conservation authority and uh, as it has been said that central government appoints the officers and employees and uh, here, here she can uh, hold their place for a minimum of three years and uh, they, they can hold their office or their service until the expiry of the period of six months from that date if such employee opts not to be the employee of that authority. So this is all from me today. Thank you for listening.